Hey YouTube, so I wanted to talk about um, the Nimbus controller and getting to it to work with regular Mac games. It has, basically if you're using an emulator or something like that, the pretty much all of the Nimbus's uh, control, like the buttons, the joysticks, everything, is sensed by uh, the emulators that I've used and it works really well for that. But what it doesn't work well for is um, Steam applications, uh, games that you'll get from the Mac App Store, just the typical ones that aren't an emulated game, essentially. So, and, it's been, and that's been a common complaint uh, by a lot of people. I think this guy uh, sums it up pretty well. It works great with iPad, but because it's, I think this is supposed to be MFI, because it's, uh, it uses that different type of controller encoding, it doesn't work well for Mac. Um, so, but that doesn't mean that there's not a way to get it to work. So that's what, what I wanted to show you. With some applications on Steam, like uh, certain GTA titles that are the older ones, I found that uh, it does have partial support, but um, one thing that never works is on, on those, basically everything that's not an emulator, is for some reason nothing can sense this directional pad and the menu button, uh, also called the home or the start button. Um, I don't know why that is, but... Um, a guy that is part of the open source community on GitHub, he's created this application that's called Gamepad Menu, and it essentially solves that problem. He made it for a different purpose. He wanted to just use his Nimbus controller to play this game that's called Bro Force. Um, but the important thing is that uh, if you use this, it fills that gap. Um, so this by itself, with those games that do support the, the Nimbus partially, uh, that will solve your problem. But if your game doesn't support the Nimbus at all, then you'll want to use this, which is free because you just download it from GitHub, um, as well as another application that I'll show you in a second. Um, first though, I want to show you what you'll need to do to get this to work uh, in the way that I'm describing. So if you right click on any application in your applications uh, folder, uh, you'll have this option that says show package content. So you'll want to do that with this gamepad application. And then you go into contents and then resources and then presets. Okay, and by default you'll just have these three. Oh, actually these would be called Bro Force. I just renamed them. Um, but, but you'll have this generic one and that's what you'll want to edit. And to edit this in the same way that I'm doing it, you'll need to have Xcode installed. That's also free. It is just a big application, though, so it, it takes up space in your hard drive. I think it's uh, 4 gigs. But um, anyway, what you'll do with this file is you'll go through and delete everything except for the directional pad and the home button. Because another application kind of takes care of the rest of these in a little bit better way, I think. Um, but this is the only solution I've found that that will get the D-pad and the start button to work. Um, so then that's going to live up in your in your menu and you can just uh, select whatever you named that preset um, and you'll have you'll have functional uh, D-pad keys and uh, and the start button. So, um, and those will function essentially as a, uh, as the arrow keys and the escape key. The next thing that you'll need to download, um, this is a paid one. So, I, I believe there are others out there that do do this, but I haven't tested those. And, um, and anyway, uh, the price on this right now is $5, so, I mean... It's not a big deal to me, but uh, if paying for this is a big deal, then you might, like that previous application that I just showed you, that actually has options to map 
um, the inputs on the Nimbus to keyboard keys, similar to what this does. This has a few more options though, and it's much easier to use. Um, and I'll show you that interface here in a second. So these are a few games that I play that don't have any support for um, for the Nimbus controller. So like with Oli Oli, it's a pretty simple game. Um, when you first add a new preset, this will all be blank. You'll you'll just have to say, you know, add a new bind. And then the way this works is you just press the scan. Uh, right now I don't have anything connected. But you'll press that scan button, and then you'll press the button on your Nimbus controller that you want to map to a certain keyboard key. And then you select that here. It's all pretty obvious, so I won't go too much into that. But basically, uh, with this application, you can you can map um, all of the all of the buttons on the Nimbus controller, um, except for the D-pad and the home or menu button. And I don't know why it doesn't have that ability to sense those buttons, but that's why you would download that previous application that that's called the GamePad menu. Um, because it fills that gap. So with these, with those two applications in place, to actually activate one of these, you would have to check that box. And again, I'm having issues because there's no controller connected. But um, with those two applications running, you're actually able to to play pretty much any game you want uh, on Steam. And I would, I'd say that. Uh, you know, if an application or or a game that you that you uh, bought on the App Store, if that doesn't work natively with the Nimbus controller, then this will also fix fix your Chrome with that game. Because, for example, Harry Potter, that's actually one that I downloaded from the App Store. It's not from Steam. Um, so anyway. That is how you would get the Nimbus controller to work. So if you have a Nimbus controller already and and you don't want to have to buy another controller or you just like the way the Nimbus controller feels, that's kind of where I am, um, and how convenient it is with it being wireless and, and being able to recharge with the lightning cable. Um, if you like all these features and just want it to work with the games that you normally play, then uh, these would be really good options for you. So if you have any questions, just uh, leave them in the comments. I'll try to have links of these, uh, these, these applications that I've talked about in the description. Thanks.